Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, in today's video we're going to be solving some log equations. So this is like a part two. If you want to go check out the first part, it is somewhere on the channel. I'll try and link it in the description if I can, but I'd go check out that first video because we're going to get straight into some questions now. So have a go at solving this log equation. So log base 10 of x is equal to log base 10 of 3 plus log base 10 of 5. So if you want to have a go at this one by yourself, feel free to pause the video and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So what we need to do is pretty much just take a look at the um, right hand side here. We have a log with base 10 plus with another log with base 10. So that means our log law says we can multiply 3 by 5 and combine them into one log. Because if you have, if you recall, if you have log base A of um, X plus log base A of Y, you're going to have log base a of x y okay so that's a previous law that we took a look at in the previous video um so we can apply this here so we'll have log base 10 of x equals 3 times 5 is 15 so you have log base 10 of 15 okay now here's the tricky part if you're logging this entire side here and you're logging this entire side that means technically that should be equal to that because there's nothing else here and there's nothing else there so what we can do is cancel out the logs, and x is 15. That's it. Let's have a go at a more trickier one. So let's try and solve this one here. So, um, and log base e, we're going to be writing that as just ln. So if you see ln, that's just log base e, where e is like 2.7 something, something pretty much, okay? So if we have ln of x squared minus 2x, plus x is equal to um, ln of x. Let's try and solve this equation, okay? So if you want to have a go by yourself, feel free to pause the video and have a go. Right, so we're going to be doing this a bit differently. Um, well, first of all, we could... Actually, I'll go add a 2 there. Add a 2 there. Um, so when we have this question here, bring this 2 on the inside to its power, because if you log something like this, you can bring the 3 out the front. So what I did was take this 3 and bring it out the front. Okay. So why not do the opposite? So we can rewrite this side as log of x squared and then we're going to still have log of all this guy here. Okay. So we have a log on both sides. Now I'm not going to cancel them. I'm going to show you how you can do it a different way but you can cancel the logs here if you wanted to. What I'm going to do is move this guy over here. So I'll have log of x squared minus 2x plus 8 minus log of x squared equals zero okay if you didn't cancel logs here you can do it this way now if you have a log minus a log you have to divide by whatever is in here so you'll have x squared minus 2x plus 8 all on x squared log of this okay and effectively all we're going to do is rewrite this as exponential because if you recall if you have a to the q equals b you can rewrite that as a log like this where this is that guy, this is that guy, and this is that guy. So we have that same situation here, because recall ln is just log base e, so we can rewrite this as e to the 0 equals x squared minus 2x plus 8, all on x squared, okay? Um, e to the 0 will be 1, so we can bring that x squared up there, so we'll have x squared equals x squared minus 2x plus 8. And you can see we've gotten to the same bit if we just cancelled the logs here. You would get the same situation. The reason why I went the long way is because there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do it this way, or you can go this way. I would recommend doing it the quicker way, because um, it's always easier. Because you can always stuff it up more easily on this method pretty much than doing it here okay so can cancel the x squares because you got one on each side so we have zero equals negative two x plus eight so therefore negative eight equals negative two x therefore x is four because i divide both sides by negative two okay um let's have a go at a, another solve one so have a go at solving this one and i'll write the question fully out this time so log base let's go 2 of x plus log base 2 of 3x plus 1 equals 1 
have a go at solving this equation by yourself. Okay. Right, so first off we're going to do is add the two logs together. So we'll have log base 2 of x times all this. So you'll have, you can rewrite like this, or you can go straight to writing it like this here. So you'll have 3x squared plus x equals 1. Okay. We've got this situation now where we can rewrite our log as a exponential. So right now we've got this situation. We want to write it like this. So we would rewrite this as 2 to the power of 1 equals 3x squared plus x. So now we have a quadratic if we move the 2 over to the other side. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the quadratic formula because I'm lazy. So my a is 3, my b is 1, and my c is negative 2. And my quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root on b squared minus 4ac all on 2a. So I'm going to have x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 2 all on 2 on 3. So x is negative 1 plus or minus in here. I'm going to have 1 plus 24. So I'm going to have square root of 25 in there because negative times negative is positive all over 6. So I have negative 1 plus or minus 5 on 6. So I'll have one scenario I could have negative 6 on 6 or I can have um, negative 4 on 6. Okay. Because I could have plus 5 minus 1. Oh, that would be plus 4, sorry. So we have negative 1 or we have 2 on 3. Now, 2 on 3 is our only solution because you can't log a negative number in the real world. Okay. Um, that's it for this short video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe.